What is up, people? Um, welcome to my channel. This is the going to be the first video that's actually going up on my channel. Um, this is sort of a thing that I want to do regarding the videos and the content on my channel. Um, I'm going to be posting hopefully two to three times a week. Um, the topic of the video is going to be literally anything that's in the news at the moment. Um, honestly, what? yeah, whatever, whatever I feel like talking about, I will talk about. And since right now, uh, today is October 5th, 2016, don't know when this is going to be uploaded, hopefully by tomorrow, the 6th, but um, today... Or this week, there's pretty much uh, a storm watch. There's a hurricane storm watch happening in my home state of Florida, specifically in Miami, Florida, um, South Florida. South Florida is where you know any hurricane is gonna hit ever. But uh, yeah, the hurricane is called uh, Hurricane Matthew. I've known a lot of Matthews in my day. They're all pretty much dicks. Um, Anyway, so yeah, right into it. Uh, it sucks that this has to be the topic of my first video on my channel because, you know, I didn't really want it to be a sad or, a, you know, kind of depressing, honestly, uh, video because who the fuck wants that? Um, but yeah, you know, not all news is happy and not all news is, you know, humans are going to Mars or something, which... Spoiler alert, we'll be doing a video on that. Anyway, so let's jump right into it. You know, what one of the main questions that we have about this hurricane. Um, how many people have died so far? How many people have been evacuated out of their, ha out of their homes and out of their countries even? Um, because, you know, some people are in a position, not by choice, just geographically, uh, they're in that position where they're, you know, pretty much doomed or fucked or whatever fucking uh, synonym you want to use for it. I don't care. It, you know, they're pretty much wrecked. Um, so how many people have died? Uh, there have been several reports. You know, the number is definitely over 10 so far. You know, the hurricane literally started this week on Monday. It's Wednesday. Uh, but 11 people across the entire Caribbean have died. That includes, you know, five five of those people are from Haiti. And in, sorry about that, got some messages. Popular person over here. Anyway, so in Haiti, Haiti has been notorious for, you know, receiving a bunch of shit from Mother Nature. Hurricanes, fucking tsunamis, fucking earthquakes, you fucking name it, Haiti has gone through it. So yeah, they, they're, you know, the death toll is, you know, probably more in Haiti than anywhere else right now. Um, it's, the hurricane is said to be inching, you know, inching up towards, uh, towards, uh, Miami right now and, you know, the United States. So... I'm pretty sure people are starting to evacuate right now. So, yeah, that goes on to my next point. Evacuation. Over 300,000 people have been evacuated in Cuba. And over 300,000 people are needing assistance in Haiti. How fucking crazy is that? So, you know, <laughs> things are actually pretty intense right now. With, with any hurricane, things get intense. You know, people start pulling in. The United Nations starts actually acting on shit. Um, not like they haven't been acting on shit before, like Syria and, you know, Aleppo and all that shit. But right now we're talking about hurricanes. People usually, around hurricane season, people pull together their support and provide support for everyone who is in need of that support. Um, by the way, what you're seeing here is gameplay of Destiny. I am that what you saw right there was my first game into it. I got kicked out into it in a while. Like I haven't played in a really long time, like a couple months. So don't judge me. This is my second game right here. Anyways, like I was saying, um, so let me tell you the situation here in Miami. I've already been 
I've already uh, prepared, I've already gotten, since the first, you know, little instance of any hurricane coming towards Florida, I always get prepared. So, I'm already prepared with all my water, with my gas, with, uh, you know, my car is, you know, it's in a garage, it's alright. Everything is alright with me, but when I did go to get my water, think about this. I went when in the early stages of people starting to, you know, they're pretty much starting to panic. Um, there's no water left in the stores. Gas stations are closing down because they don't even have gas to fill up their their machines. So, you know, things are intense. When I went to the store, they had just gotten a new shipment of water bottles in Walmart. And a shipment is actually, you know, like a hundred or two hundred twenty four packs of water and when I got there at two something p.m. they had just received a new one and it was already halfway gone so what I did was grab five six of them for me and my family and dip get some flashlight get some you know get some batteries and whatnot you know everything that you're gonna need canned food everything all right, people, let's... So that's, you know, pretty much what's happening with Hurricane Matthew on our end right now. Um, just to give you kind of an example how crazy things might get, they're saying that this storm is a Category 4, which is like 120, 130 miles per hour uh, winds. But, you know, you honestly never know. Like, you can be a surprise, which is the examples that I'm going to give you right now. So, back then, in 1992, um, the U.S., Florida, um, Florida in particular, uh, they, we had a hurricane called Hurricane Andrew. Now, Andrew was before I was born. I was born in 97. I am 19 years old. And the hurricane was in 1992, so... As you can tell, I didn't live through it, but I have recently been doing some research and watching tons of videos and whatnot on how how devastating that really was. Because I actually live alone with, well, not alone, with my girlfriend, but we moved out of our, our parents' house to live together. What a bitch. Not my girlfriend, that person right there. Anyways. So, just to tell you how how bad it really is, uh, let me go through some statistics with you guys. So, in Hurricane Andrew, the amount of fatalities there were were 65. 65 United States citizens, I don't know if they were U.S. citizens, but they were living in the U.S. And 65 of them died because of a storm. Something you think that can't really, it won't kill you. How the hell can it kill you? You can't swim in Miami? What are you doing here? Not that, that's not the case. Anyway, so the highest recorded winds were at 175 miles per hour. Now think about that. When you're going in your car at 100 miles an hour, doesn't it feel like you're about to shit your pants from how fast you're going? Now imagine going 75 miles above that. That is how fast the wind was going. And let's look at some footage right now, actually. So you can see the actual winds. And you can see in Hurricane Andrew that the winds were actually not going... Uh, they were not going vertically or... The rain was not falling vertically or at e even at a small angle it was literally going at a 180 degree horizontal ang angle just watch this
have a power line down and we don't know where to call. Do you have a number? Uh, we'll announce it on the air, okay? Okay, thank you. Well, I understand that there's, there's uh, quite a bit of heavy damage at Homestead Air Force Base. It's uh, extensive damage. If you need repair, uh, emergency repair for the building of five relief bills in Broward and, and Palm Beach County. Right now, emergency units are on the scene. That's the 3200 block of Northeast 9th. That was pretty freaking intense, right? Anyways, so now that you see how things, you know, how bad things really can get, that was a Category 5, um, that was a Category 5 hurricane, strongest hurricane out there, strongest category of hurricane out there, and guess how many people became homeless after that? You think like a, like 50,000, 70,000, 100,000 even? More like 160,000 people became temporarily homeless because of Hurricane Andrew. Now imagine that. That's ridiculous. That honestly, that number to me is kind of high and it's a little bit ridiculous. Now let's watch some footage of Hurricane Katrina. Highway 90. In, in the room, through the air conditioned vent. Oh man. You know what? Like, wow. These walls are going to start coming in. The front, the front bumper's coming off. Oh, here it, it's getting ready to break, guys. It's getting ready to come right in the uh, lobby now.
Wow. That was even more intense than Hurricane Andrew, in my opinion. Now get this. This hurricane, Hurricane Katrina, was originally thought to be a Category 3. Now, by surprise, it caught us at a Category 5. It hit at a Category 5 when people were prepared for a Category 3. That is just... Oh my god, I can't even imagine it. That's why you, know, you always have to over-prepare, you know? Just do what you gotta do to survive. Anyways, Katrina. 1,836 people died. More than half of those... That that number, which 18, uh, 900 of those people were senior citizens, old people, old that can't, you know, can't even walk, can't defend themselves. You saw the the height of the of the floods there. Some of them are, are in wheelchairs. They would be drowned in that. The whole first floor of that hotel was drowned in water. And that car was inside of that lobby by the time the whole floor was flooded if there was an old person in a wheelchair right behind that car boom you're dead that's it what's up so as i said category threes uh, are usually 120 miles per hour this category five again 175 miles per hour highest winds recorded ridiculous and, <laughs> and yeah, it's, it's uh, you know, I don't think it's funny, but, you know, what can you do? Anyways, uh, <laughs> I'm just laughing at this number that I'm looking at here because remember the 160,000 people that became homeless? Well, in this Katrina storm, 15 million people were affected by it. Now, I'm not saying all 15 million of those people lost their homes, but, you know, they had to be affected in some way by it. And, you know, that wasn't a tiny little fucking storm. Anyways, the the real statistic that actually trumps me here, Trump, vote for, <laughs> don't vote for Trump, oh my god, this election, guys. I'll post a video on that too. Anyways. The, the, um, the statistic that really gets me here is that 705 people are still reportedly missing because of Hurricane Katrina. It is 2016. Katrina was in 2005. 11 years ago this, this storm occurred. And there are still 705 people missing. That just leaves me a little bit speechless. I kind of feel bad for for anyone who went through this, and I really hope this storm doesn't get as bad as any of these two storms that you know that were just named. And I can name a couple more. I can name one more that was really bad. Hurricane Wilma was really bad, and I'm not really sure about the other ones. The other, you know, we haven't had a hurricane that's supposed to be like this in Miami since Hurricane Katrina. So, since 11 years, we haven't had a hurricane, but, you know, whatever. So, the video's coming to an end right now. I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys. Um, I'm gonna show you some pictures of my place and how it looks right now. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. You know, just keep the news on and, you know, subscribe, like the video, and stay tuned for more. Thanks. Guardian, your light is strong. <laughs>